Alright guys, where we left off, I talked to the people that own that airship, which is the Brotherhood of Steel. And right now, they told me to go to Cambridge Police Department to join the Brotherhood of Steel. So that's where I'm going, heading to Cambridge Police Department. I'm going to join up, and one of my mini goals of Fallout 4 is done. Hopefully. How long it takes for me to join is how long it takes to join, you know? So, I'm happy that at least that's gonna be done for once. What is, oh, are these the vault things? Not vault things, the fucking. Huh? Oh. Jesus. That's... Birds! <clears throat> so I'm excited to join the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh. I hit that button completely by accident. That's and in front of Fragmine. Well, well, that didn't take long. Jeez. You motherfuckers, help me out! Ugh. Reload, please. Oh, God. Why are there so many? Uh-oh, I might be dead. I really might be dead. I'm stuck. Ah! Uh, fucking... Stupid game. Ah, I don't want to do that again. I need a better weapon. Man, I suck. Ah, stupid game, anyways. I really fucking hope this time. First off, Valentine was completely missing. I don't know. He was MIA. I don't know where the hell he went. So first off, let's, let's investigate my weapon situation here. Yeah? How's this weapon doing? Fucking absolutely nothing in it. But this. Alright, barely anything in it. How about the constipated pistol? I, I know what it says, but I'm saying constipated on purpose. How about this motherfucker? There's like nothing in it. How about this? Nothing. How about this? Nothing. Figured. How about this? Nothing. How about this? Nothing. How about this? Nothing. How about this? Oh, hell yeah, this has got ammo. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, vault. That might be my next uh, part after I'm done with the uh, Brotherhood. Maybe I'll go check out Vault 81. See what that's all about. Maybe one thing I'll do is to... See if maybe the main story uh, glitch is fixed. So maybe I can... Well, at least patch for me. So maybe I can beat um this game. If I have to, I'll just do a different save. 
Oh, stop vetsing, man. Jeez, I really can pick that up and swing it? Jeez. Just like Skyrim uses your uh, your AP so you can't fucking you can't do shit. Ah, oh. yeah, buddies. So this time when I get closer, I'm gonna save when I'm closer. And not get my ass whooped this time. All right, I can hear the gunshots, I'll save right here. And go in and fight. I'll do a quick save, but I don't trust quick saves sometimes. I have more than enough ammo, I should be able to do this with a minigun. I, I, I hope. What you got? What you got? The brotherhood's probably how the fuck does a civilian have a minigun? <laughs> I went to hell and back, motherfucker. Come on! Come on! Jesus, that was a lot easier than that. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance. No problem, dude. A brotherhood soldier pointed me this way. I might be interested in joining up. Yeah, man. In recruitment, huh? Yes. Nice mustache. Ask you a few questions. Are you yep. from a local settlement? Uh, Vault 111. Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since okay. The we arrived in the common. We've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I'll continue to help, but you owe me an explanation first. So, you're gonna spill the beans? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over okay. here is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. I've been trying to send a distress call to our vessel at Boston International Airport, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, yeah. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. Okay. What do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Yeah. The waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Hey, let me ask you something. Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and you know, your family, it's a mm -hmm. whole hell of a lot to process. Uh, I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. All right, so it's time to prove your worth. Yeah, I'm all right. Huh, you're a tougher nut than I thought. Yeah. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws. Oh, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds. Jeez. At that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. Oh. At the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Interesting. Broken mask? 
This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. Jeez. Security finally put enough holes in him to drop him. They say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't... Very interesting, man. Right there. I like all this backstory stuff. Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. Oh. Didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four tufts. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. Offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy. Wow. One ass. Waking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Good for you, man. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. <laughs> then, I didn't have to. An unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going. <laughs> Beep. Artist part of that rescue <laughs> was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. <laughs> was it hard settling in? That's awesome. Sure beep, beep, beep. Jobs no one else you should just fucking throw a grenade or something like that. Throw like a flashbang or something by their feet. So just blew up and scared the shit out of them. <laughs> Never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter. So they started coming to me when people went missing. Oh. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to a good neighbor and the dead of night's <coughs> not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Uh. Well, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. Now, with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Good story. Alright, so we'll end this part right here. After Nick's really interesting story that I didn't know about. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you on the next one.